In the ever-evolving landscape of global defense technology, one name is rapidly gaining attention in Southeast Asia the French made Aster missile system. In 2026, the Philippines made a significant move in modernizing its air defense capabilities by finalizing its acquisition of this powerful missile system. Welcome to Motor Authority Philippines A where we explore military tech, defense systems, and the future of mobility and firepower. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the Aster missile and why it matters now more than ever. The Aster missile family A jointly developed by MBDA France and Italy A represents one of Europe's most sophisticated and combat-ready air defense systems. Designed to intercept and destroy incoming aerial threats at both short and medium ranges, the Aster series is a critical pillar in the defense architecture of multiple NATO allies. In 2026, the Philippine military officially confirmed the procurement of the Aster 15 and Aster 30 missile variants as part of its broader modernization program under Horizon 3 of the revised AFP modernization plan. Now, let's talk about why this matters. The Philippines is an archipelagic nation with over 7,000 islands, making its defense posture particularly complex. In recent years, with growing tensions in the West Philippine Sea and increased Chinese military presence in the region, the Philippine government has accelerated its efforts to build a credible deterrent force. Enter the Aster missile as system capable of protecting airspace from fighter jets, cruise missiles, drones, and even tactical ballistic missiles. The Aster 15, with a range of around 30 kilometers, is designed for point defense. It reacts quickly and is ideal for protecting critical naval assets such as frigates. The Aster 30, on the other hand, can engage targets at distances exceeding 120 km and altitudes up to 20 km. It is suited for area defense a creating a protective bubble around a fleet or strategic land base. Together, these two variants offer layered air defense, which is exactly what the Philippines has been lacking. The deployment of the Aster missiles is expected to be integrated with the Philippine Navy's JOS A tilde copyright Risel class frigates, which are already equipped with vertical launch systems, VLS, compatible with the Aster family. These warships, built by South Korea's high and die heavy industries, were delivered between 2020 and 2022, but until now lacked the actual missile systems to complete their full combat potential. With the Aster acquisition, these ships will finally become fully operational multi-role combatants capable of handling advanced air threats. But it's not just about the ships. There are also reports suggesting that land-based variants of the Aster 30, such as the SAMP, T air defense system, are being considered by the Philippine Army or Air Force. These mobile systems would provide coverage over critical infrastructure and urban centers a huge leap from the relatively outdated short-range systems currently in place. Why did the Philippines choose the French Aster over other alternatives? One factor is reliability and combat-proven performance. The Aster system has been deployed by France, Italy, the United Kingdom, and other European allies. It has been tested in various real-world scenarios and consistently ranks among the most accurate and reliable interceptors in the world. Additionally, the Philippines likely weighed its strategic partnerships. France has been deepening its defense ties in the Indo-Pacific region viewing the Philippines as a key maritime partner. Unlike U.S.-based systems like the Patriot or Israeli systems such as David's Sling, the Aster offers a balance of performance, modularity, and diplomatic cooperation. Another factor is scalability. The Aster system is modular A meaning it can be configured based on specific mission requirements. Whether it's a naval installation, a mobile army unit, or fixed airbase protection, the Aster architecture adapts. 
that level of flexibility is crucial for a geographically diverse and strategically exposed nation like the Philippines. Let's talk about capability in more detail. The Aster missile uses a two-stage propulsion system with an active radar seeker. What does that mean? It can track and intercept targets autonomously A once launched, the missile doesn't require mid-course guidance from the ship or ground launcher. This frees up the radar and command system to handle multiple incoming threats at the same time A which is critical in a saturation attack scenario, where multiple missiles or drones are fired simultaneously to overwhelm defenses. In practice, an Aster missile can detect, track, and destroy a sea skimming missile traveling at Mach 2 or higher just seconds before impact. This kind of split second performance could mean the difference between survival and destruction for a naval vessel or critical infrastructure. Training and integration are already underway. In early 2026, MBDA dispatched teams to the Philippines to begin advanced training with both naval and air force units. Simulation systems were installed at Subic Naval Base and Villamar Air Base to provide real time operational readiness. The first live fire trials are expected in late 2026 at the San Antonio Naval Base A, where Philippine forces will conduct joint exercises alongside French military advisors. There's a bigger strategic picture here, too. With the acquisition of the Aster missile system, the Philippines is not only buying hardware it is investing in doctrine, interoperability, and a message of resolve. Aster deployment signals to regional players that the country is no longer content with outdated platforms and second-hand solutions. It is embracing 21 ST century warfare with European precision. Moreover, it elevates the Philippines as a potential regional hub for joint training and defense collaboration. Japan, Indonesia, and even Australia are keeping a close eye on how the Philippines integrates these systems A not just from a military standpoint, but from a political one as well. As ASEAN becomes increasingly important in shaping Indo-Pacific security, the Philippines A backed by French and possibly European support A stands to play a pivotal role. From a budget perspective, this is no small investment. The total deal value is estimated to be over $400 million USD including missiles, fire control systems, training, and logistical support. It is one of the largest missile system contracts the Philippines has ever entered, signaling a long-term shift in its procurement priorities. Critics have raised concerns about sustainability and readiness. Integrating such advanced systems requires long-term maintenance agreements, local manufacturing or repair capabilities, and cybersecurity safeguards. But the government has assured that technology transfer and localized support systems are part of the agreement with MBDA ensuring that the system can be sustained domestically over the next decade. Let's not forget the symbolism. In a region where gunboat diplomacy and grey zone tactics are increasingly common, having a modern and respected missile system acts as a form of strategic deterrence. It may not stop all aggression, but it adds a layer of uncertainty for any adversary contemplating hostile action. In the calculus of military planning, uncertainty is often enough to prevent escalation. As we look toward 2027 and beyond, the Aster missile system represents more than just a new weapon. It's a statement. A sign that the Philippines is no longer standing on the sidelines of regional security. It is asserting its right to defend its skies, its seas, and its sovereignty a using the best technology Europe has to offer. This has been Motor Authority Philippines a your trusted source for cutting-edge analysis of military mobility defense innovation, and strategic transformation. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss our next deep dive into the technology shaping tomorrow's battlefield. Merci et mabu hey. See you in the next video.